Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are back with more Card Survival Tropical Island. And we are well in the middle of our series right now, if you're just tuning in, I've got links to this playlist down in the description, also a link to the Steam page if you like the game and you want to pick it up. Oh and if you are new, check out the comments in some of the videos in this series because there's been a few people who have been really helping me out, leaving great tips and stuff, and in fact I've made a few you know, errors along the way in this playthrough. But I think we're settling down nicely now, starting to get the hang of things here. We are going to make our home in the jungle, but the wetlands is a very important location for us. We've got our pottery up and running, and of course the bay is, you know, our bread and butter. That's where we like to go to fish. We just came back from there in the most previous episode, but he is tired, he's hot, so... We don't have any good water here. That's actually something we haven't seen it rain in a couple of days. I'm hoping maybe it will soon, but let's just go ahead and uh, crack open a coconut. I think, yeah, he doesn't have the active like uh, annoyance for eating coconuts at the moment, but that changes pretty quick considering just how many of these we're eating. Okay, there we go. Remove the meat just to get it out of there. It's good to have the shells here too, of course, because once it does start to rain, we're going to want as many of those shells as we can get, at least until we build our reservoir. And speaking of which, that's currently our big aim right now is the reservoir. Let's see, I should go ahead and build the shelter too, because it's starting to get a little later in the day. All right, fill that. Oop, we don't have, uh-oh, let's not push ourselves too much. We'll go ahead and eat our fish. We might have to travel into the wetlands just to cool off because we are very hot right now. And like I said, no water in this location. Yeah, let's just make a little trip over here. I should have dropped those long sticks off, damn it. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to... Oh, look! <gasps> the water level in this one has gotten so low we can't even wash in it. All right, we will wash here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Again, like I just said, it has not rained in quite a while. There's our big kiln. Look at this big boy. I call him Big Ben. <laughs> He's up to 900 degrees, which I think is the maximum. But we don't actively have anything right now to put in them. We've actually... Oh, I should have brought these with me. Jesus, what is wrong with me? Yeah, those are coming back to the location this is one of the reasons why i think it's so drained is because we just filled these two up with unsafe water so well overall i'm glad we came back here to cool off now let's go back to the jungle looks like i was so excited that i forgot the water all right so let's plop both of these onto that i think it's safe to go ahead and get it started too might as well while we're working and doing some other stuff there it is hand drill all right, do we have any tinder? No, we don't. Um, I probably got some on me. Yeah, didn't we put away a whole bunch of feathers? I believe so. In our little backpack, yes. I'll just kind of pull two of those out for right now. Just need the one, but it's good to have an extra one sitting around. And in fact, let's drop it in the basket. Oh, you know what? I'm going to place this. Yes. Now it's up here. Kind of unclutters things because having so much crap at our feet is not good. In fact, it affects our mood too. Somebody recently pointed out that I should make a broom and do some sweeping with it. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll I have to research. And then another person pointed out that we know the broom already. Look at that. All right, so we'll put that up there to work on that so that essentially we keep our area clean and whatnot. I think it also helps if we unclutter things like these seeds. I could put those in the basket. Don't really want my fish scraps, but I think there is a way to get rid of stuff without eating it. Oh! Throw away all. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. So we can kind of unclutter our area. That's great. Let's throw that in there. Um... Everything else is looking pretty good. Spear, can't really put that away. Okay, so let's stay focused here. We've got to get some palm trees, or palm leaves. Here we go, we'll harvest these. God, we're already hot again. Whew, that was a lot. All right, we'll put the seeds in our little basket. Again, try to keep things uncluttered. 
Here we go. Boiling water. Take it all. All right. Well, that's definitely too hot to drink and certainly too hot to wash ourselves in. So I think we'll go ahead and extinguish the fire. Now, uh, I'm going to drop this crap so I'm not carrying all this around. Don't. Damn it. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, you got to be careful playing around with cards. Sometimes you'll accidentally craft something and that right there just cost me 45 minutes but it's okay we didn't like overheat in fact i think our temperature's gone down a little bit and the water has completely cooled off so we're gonna drink it so that one yeah this little guy i think is essentially equivalent to a half coconut shell but it's very small container but it's got that lid on it so you can keep whatever you want in it basically indefinitely you know so you can't place it up there, but we'll keep it here. I'll just throw it in the basket for now. And now this thing is bigger, but of course it's open. But with this bottleneck here, it actually reduces evaporation to a degree. So we probably want several of these, although there are better containers. Let's see, what are we currently working on? Oh, the reservoir itself. Okay, yeah, we need to stay focused on that. But let's get this built beautiful and we can combine and 30 minutes is getting late or i mean we're gonna sleep here so this is what we want but i'm just i'm just calling it out <laughs> it's getting dark all right let's see we've got that now i think i've got cordage yeah beautiful always good to start whenever you got spare time just make extra cordage because you're always gonna need it all right we'll make our broom 45 minutes yeah, we can do that. Okay, wonderful. Keep this hand drill around in case we want to fire later. So, um, I will set this down and then train. Perfect for cleaning the home. What does training do? What did that? Oh, I just trained with spear fighting. <laughs> oh. So, I might actually. This might only apply to. Um, like the cave, for instance. Yeah, I'll probably need to carry that back to the wetlands. And once we make a like a little um, shack or whatever, we can clean that. I distinctly remember using a broom inside my shack my first playthrough, but it does say cleaning the home. So I don't. I, I, it makes sense. We can't just stand it here and sweep the jungle floors. <laughs> what would be the point, you know? But uh, the the cave, I think, was what the commenter recommended. So. You know, it's not a terrible thing. We've got this palm weave now. It was real quick. We are getting ready for bed here, but maybe we can set up another basket. Let's see. Oh, the basket was under the home. Yeah. These baskets are great. They do take quite a lot of stuff, but we'll work on that as we go through. All right. Let's see what else we've got here. We need to explore the jungle. I'll tell you that. We have barely scratched the surface here, but I don't think let's eat that okay i don't think we're in too bad a shape here we'll drink we can explore a little bit we got shoes on right oh banana tree oh that's huge now this is a very plentiful source of food but your guy will get sick of it just like everything else eating raw bananas so we don't want to push them although it might give us a recipe if i harvest it once let's just collect some bananas no, no food recipes yet, but we'll get some. I'm sure banana plays a part in one of the recipes, at least, you know. Uh, look how many you can do. It's great. And, all right, we're still working over here. Four hours. Just want to check that. We could go to sleep right now for four hours, and that would be pretty perfect. We wake up, and then we've got uh, we got to choose a new research. I think we'll do that. I'm going to try and go to sleep hot. I hope that doesn't cause us problems. We'll see here. Leave the fire down. If we need, we can wake up and harvest some grass, uh, snake grass. If the bub bug population's too bad. Yeah, I can't even do it now, so we'd have to light the fire and everything first. Um, damn. Maybe we should just do that to be safe. Okay. Of course, I don't have any feathers here. Okay, beautiful. 
and we'll go back to our normal. Oh, it's still too dark. Even Do I need to move it close to the fire? I don't think that helps. I'm surprised, though. Huh. Oh, shoot. Well, regardless, maybe the fire will just help by itself. I don't know. I doubt it, but... This goes to show you, you need to be prepared with these places. I don't have any snake grass in here, do I? No. Hmm. This aloe vera has lasted for a long time, though. That's handy. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and just head to bed. Try and sleep hot here. We'll nap. Okay. The temperature thing seems like it's balancing. Uh, maybe it went up a tiny bit. <gasps> Perfect. Just what we wanted. Let's go back to the pottery. Glazed vase. This is an amazing one. Yeah, for sure. Let's just look through these, though. Maybe there's something else we really want. Wood shavings. Oh. <gasps> I remember this being like a component and something interesting, but whoops, we'll we'll worry about that down the road. Like I said, there's probably more important stuff. The bellows are really good. We'll start on those. Unless we see something else, we'll just focus on that. Ah, the foo. You know what? This is only three hours. If we can actually start to make some food, and this is like just bread and a bird. And I think like some lemongrass or something, or some sort of green, if my memory serves. Okay, looking good. Yeah, we'll stick with the food for now. Okay, okay, that's going to help his mood. And of course, you don't get as sick of eating like actual recipes too. Okay. Maybe it would help us to set up some traps here. Only thing is we don't know a lot of good traps yet. I think we've only got like one or two. Uh, just the one. The deadfall. That's pretty lame. Hmm. Alright. Anyway, we've got more important things to do. He's no longer tired. I'm really considering dismantling the loom that's back at the other place, but... For right now, I got an idea. Let's stay focused on what is most important. And that's going to be setting up the reservoir. Okay, oh, that's probably under here. There it is. Reservoir. 12 bricks. And then there's three different stages to it. So I think it's like 12, 12, 12. But it doesn't matter. Because whatever it is, we're going for it. We don't have a single one. Uh, there's no point in setting up two just yet. I definitely want to try and build two of these, but I might build one in the wetlands or somewhere else. For now, we'll focus on one. So, I've got an idea. Let's go ahead and travel back to the wetlands right now. We'll get an early start on the day, and we will extinguish this fire. I'm going to grab the charcoal and ash, though. Yeah, that's always helpful to have that stuff in the wetlands. Now, let's see. I can't recall if I had a spear in the wetlands, but here's what I'm going to do. I'll put those away, and I want to keep this spear on me just in case we do see an animal. That will, of course, increase our chances of killing it because our guy is a pretty decent spear fighter. All right, so I very stupidly put the campfire out. I was going to light the torch. Damn it, what was I thinking? Uh, all right, so not a big deal. We, we can deal with this. I need to get my bird feather back out. That's not the right one. That's only a shadow of what we want. Okay, there we go. We're going to get this. Don't you worry. I don't often use torches. There it is, too. I'm going to pull that out in a second lit first okay and I'm pretty sure this will allow us to travel between locations at night light it okay now we shall extinguish and I'm just gonna grab the ashes there we go all right water stays here should we take a little drink of it yeah better don't have anything to eat so we're headed to the wetlands let's go yep that wasn't too bad. I wonder, can I use this to start my fire with now? No, that's unfortunate. Maybe if I click it? No. Nope. Just extinguish. Um, well, let's leave it lit for a little while. We might go into the cave. 
I'll drop these. Okay, so you can see one puddle is completely dry. Of course, if it rains, we're back in business. So not a huge deal. I definitely don't want to tap this as a water source. We we're really hoping it rains, but I don't know. We might be getting close to the dry season. So we got to really, really be careful. But yeah, the big goal now is just to start making bricks. Bricks, bricks, bricks. And with our torch, I think we can manage that. It is kind of wasteful to do that, you know. I should probably put the torch out and just start a proper fire. Because the torch is more for emergencies or like we just did, traveling, you know. Using it for crafting is kind of dumb. Okay, let's pull this out. Grab some bananas too. Good, good. Do we have feathers here? For the love of God, no. <laughs> I got some though. Hold on. Let's have a munch. Okay. You got to juggle. Inventory management is a big part of this game. But I always think like the card aspect, the fact that we're using cards, does make it more appealing to me. I've always loved card games of all varieties. Okay, here we go. And you can see too, our kiln unfortunately went out. Still at 700 degrees though. So if I wanted to whip up another vase or something, we could relight it and it would be a very quick process. Are we still working on this? Come on, buddy. Hurry it up. Okay, now I definitely need some wood. Whew. Um, it's too dark to even cut. Wow. We'll drop this. But I think we can still work on some bricks here. Right? Or no, I don't have any mud. <laughs> well, we're going to need that. Really digging a mud. Yeah, it only takes 5% off there, so... We will definitely need it to rain at least once more before we are able to finish our reservoir, but this gives us a lot of work to do, so. Hmm. We might head back to the beach, too, once it gets daytime, or the bay. We're going to go back to the bay, I think, today. Let's, uh, not do that. You know what? Hmm. I was told this, and it's true. Sand is really the best option as a uh, temper, I think it's called. Yeah, because it really doesn't have any other application. Like ash, for instance, you can use it, but it's better off used in bandages. Now, ultimately, I still might use it because it's here and this is really a big priority for us. But it is good to point that out. There it is. Chicken sandwich discovered. Okay, should we do jungle salad next or fish taco? Fish taco. And another thing, too, to remember with these recipes is I've only got a very limited amount of Sago, but here, I think it was here. Yeah. The Sago palm. There it is. Now, ideally, if we were going to do this process, a whole Sago tree into flower, cause it is a process. We should have something better than a stone ax, i.e. a flint ax. And of course, discovering Flint means we need to go to the Highlands, or there's another place which I think is connected to the, like the beach or whatever, but, or maybe it is the beach itself, I'm not sure, but Flint is only found in certain areas and it's not the wildlands or the jungle, so we'll have to travel. But anyway, that's just a long explanation. Let's keep moving. Oh, did we set? Yeah, we did set our next one. Okay, there's four bricks. Of course, we're going to have to carry all of these back home, but not a big deal. Let's keep working. Mm, this is one reason I want to head to the bay when it gets light out. It's just because I've been advised that doing the same task over and over and over again will increase his tension. And that's one of the reasons he gets unhappy. So we need to mix it up and do things that are specifically for recreation. Like building a sandcastle, for instance. So we're going to do that today. Uh, I think it's light enough. Maybe. We've got one more mud pile. Oh, got to keep forgetting to do this. There we go. That's a good start. Yeah, we're going to grab all these. It's not too bad. We'll travel back with them. All right, let's go back to the jungle. Yep, just thinking if I forgot anything. Nope, we're good. <laughs> All right, where's my reservoir? Fill it. Ooh, we're getting there. But like I say, we've got to take a little break just for mental health and whatnot. Let's see, this is down to 44%. 
I'll go ahead and take a drink. We have no idea when it's going to rain again, so. All right, are we set and ready to go to the bay? I think we are. Just make sure I don't want to bring anything with me. We're good. Um, I might leave this here because we have a spear there. It's a fishing spear, but it can be used for... Oh, attack it. Should have kept my spear. We got it, though. Sick. All right, we'll grab this. Now, question is, do we butcher it now or do we wait? I think we wait. We've got fire. We can make a, a nice little cooking fire if we need to. Let's see here. We've got the lemongrass. That's beautiful. We have fully explored this place, but you can always keep exploring it for more of like the same resources, you know. There's the mangrove forest. I'm not going to go there yet. That place is a little intimidating, but um, there's good stuff there too. Okay, let's see. Hot. Let's try a spearfish right off the bat. Nice. Okay, and at some point, too, we certainly want to make this guy a fishing pole. And there might even be better forms of spears we can make for fishing. <gasps> yeah, the harpoon. Oh, I need a rope, and that's it. Oh, we should work on this tonight. Yeah, I just need a cutting tool, and it's even showing my bone knife, so that'll work. The rope is... A lot of cordage, but we can make it, certainly. Especially with snake grass. This is amazing. Okay. Uh, just cancel it. We're not going to build it here. But, uh, okay, I'm glad I looked at that. That might help us get some of those bigger fish, too, that you can fillet up and stuff. Oh, look at this. We're already cold. I like it. Let's do a dive. Nothing. Damn. Actually cleaned us off a little bit, but we're just going to rest for 15 minutes. Okay. Still a normal body weight. That's a good sign. Aha. All right. Kind of want one more fish. Ah, no luck. All right. We'll just drop it. And let's go ahead and build a sand castle. There it is. Uh, we can destroy it. I don't know if destroying it does anything for us, but either way, let's go ahead and grab some sand. Oh, a new blueprint. There it is. Beautiful. All right. We'll hold off on food for a second. Let's switch over to something of more importance, like the bellows. Actually, hold on. Let's look at some of the things. Oh, Travoy is amazing. Yeah. This would help us lugging sand and uh, bricks and stuff. It just says more crafting is needed. So hmm. that actually gives me an idea. Should I research? Oh, we do know the leather shoes. Oh, what? We can probably craft these up. Damn it. Let's get back into the interior of the island. Because we got a lot of stuff to make. Let's go. Okay, very good. Now, I think the leather... It's certainly not in that one. I think it's back at the cave. Yeah. Okay, so... We'll just pass through this area. See, my water's almost gone, dang it. Ah, really hope it rains. Okay, either way, let's keep going. Wetlands, here we come. Got big plans today, big plans. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and store the two fishes on the fire for now. Not going to quite get those butchered up, or cooked up yet, though go into the cave real quick oh shoot i should drop that sand yeah here's our skins i'm just gonna grab both of them okay we don't need anything else in here actually the empty shells are pointless in here let's go let's see how much room that takes up okay i can just push the rest of these outside that's helpful Okay, exit, drop, all that stuff. Now, let's set up a couple of bl blueprints. Fill that. I've definitely got a needle. Crap, I might have brought it back to the jungle, but that's okay. Because look at this. Boom. Okay, okay. Now, what was the other one we wanted? There was another blueprint. 
Good to go through these just to see. Oh, it was the harpoon. That's right. These might be better crafted at the jungle now that I've moved so much of our stuff there. Yeah, because we've got bones, I'm pretty sure, but they're back at the jungle. All right. Cancel, cancel. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. This is one of the issues with, of course, splitting up your camp. You know, having one operation like... I could theoretically build the kiln in the jungle and just move all the mud there, but it's a heck of a pain, especially without the travoy. Either way, it's not the end of the world. Drop that in our bag real quick. Pull this guy off there. All right, we're good. Now, we've got to get back to work on the bricks at some point, but... I mean, of course, we will run into a brick wall, <laughs> no pun intended there, with uh, the lack of water. So we're just praying for rain at this point. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's repeat the process. Store the fish. Drop that off. Let's set up some of the blueprints. We'll get that one. Yeah, we already have a few more of the items here. Uh, didn't I have bones? Oh! <gasps> I might have used the bones, both of them. Damn it, that's unfortunate. Because we're going to have to kill a monkey to get some more bones. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, uh, that's okay. We'll deal with that. Maybe they're in here, but I doubt it. Almost, no, just, damn it. Just go in there. And give me the bananas. Almost forgot about those. Empty those out. Beautiful. Okay, that's looking good. What's in our satchel again? Oh, another bone needle. Break those out. All right, and we shall fill. Let's move all our blueprints together right here. Didn't we have one for the shoes? I thought I set one up for the leather shoes already. Maybe I forgot. That was the other place. All right, there we go. Fill it. Oh, this one we can almost do. Do we have any coconuts here? Oh, we do have a coconut. No, where's my... Oh, my knife. <laughs> Hold on, I got an idea. It's it's in a recipe. So I'm going to take a sharpened stone. And we'll just use that on it. There we go. Drop that. Give me that husk, baby. That should give us some fibers. Oh, look at this. We've almost got some shoes. It's an hour. Oh, crap. It's a two-stage process, too. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, let's have some bananas. Whoops. Get back in my pocket. Just eat all of them, buddy. Fill yourself up. Try and avoid eating too many more bananas because he's very sick of them at this point. I don't blame you, bud. Bananas are good if you like two of them, but that third one, you're like, what am I doing with my life? Trying to force your way through a third banana. It's just, it's unreasonable. All right, let's go. Fill. More cordage, more fiber. One more leather piece. What did I do with it? I left it back in the wetlands. I'm so disorganized. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make up some fiber here, though. Let's do this. This poor little bird's probably getting a little stinky here. So, oh, he's only at 85%. That's not the end of the world. All right, we got very little water. Let's fill. Okay, we need three cords. Damn, I would kill for a spindle right now. Okay, there's one. Did we... Oh, we need a rope and a cord for this, too. Sorry, we're, that's not a big priority since we don't have the proper bones. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to head back to the wetlands here. Let me grab the rest of these. Okay, just dropping them. Let's go to the wetlands real quick. It's getting a little later in the day. Got to watch this traveling back and forth. I'm a wash. That was a pretty costly amount of water there, but we needed it to cool off. I'm pretty sure we were dirty. Okay, so let's see what do we got here. Cured skin, come to me. Let me just check the cave one more time. I swear I had bones. But no, I think what happened was I made a bone knife, then didn't get stolen by a macaw. So I had to make a second bone knife. That's why we used both of our bones, I think. Sadly. But uh, either way, we'll leave this stuff here. I like having the hand drill. In case of an emergency, we can come back to the cave. And we'll be able to light a fire in here. Okay, speaking of which, 
Let's put that snake grass back in there, just that little bundle, and that'll be for bug control if we are forced to sleep there. Okay. We might be able to open up some recipes if we harvest and prepare some of this. Um, we'll, we'll just focus on one at a time. Let's not overwhelm ourselves with that. But yeah, we might be able to. We'll see. Okay. We're just hoping to see another monkey, man. I mentioned previously, we, we saw several in the first couple episodes and then they just disappeared. But, oh well. Maybe I should just leave some... Oh, I got an idea. You know, one thing they seem to like are these shells. So we'll drop some shells on the ground, trying to provoke some monkey attacks. It's not really an attack, but we'll, we'll attack the monkeys for sure. Uh, why is the small palm? All the way up here. Get back to the back. What? Okay. And let's see what we've got going on. So the basket's not a priority. This. Boom. We are well on our way. I should probably just work on that right now. Can't do anything with this yet. Yeah, let's just make some cordage. Might be time to go ahead and light the fire. No, he's not hungry yet, so we're okay. Where's my proper basket? Okay. This is eight fibers. Do we have any more snake grass? We do. There's two more patches here, so we've got plenty of cordage. Let's do this. Ah, it takes 30 minutes to make a whole one little fiber cord. That's kind of crazy, but makes sense. Fill it. One hour. Do it. Better, what better time than right now? There we go. We just unlocked a new shirt. And we got coconut sandals. We're going to take those off, obviously, and wear a nice new leather shoes. But we will not throw these away. Where's my basket? Drop them in there. Almost filled it up, but yeah. That's something we'll keep in case like I forget to make leather or we just don't have the resources to replace our current ones or repair them. We'll have a backup. Okay, well that's a good start, and I think that's a good finish too. Probably a nice place to end today's episode. It's getting late, we're about ready for bed, but we've accomplished uh, quite a bit. We really need to focus on this again, but like I said, just waiting on the rain, so maybe we'll try and do a rain dance or something. No, I'm kidding, that's not actually in the game, but I wish it were. Either way, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you're enjoying the series. Hit that like button if you are. Subscribe if you're a new viewer, and of course, I love hearing your comments, guys. I read every one of them, and I appreciate you all out there, and I will see you on the next one. Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.